guys hello and welcome to Java tutorial today we will learn how you can install Java effects into Eclipse a lot of the students and some professionals have been asking this question for a very long time how I can set up my Eclipse to work with Java effects it's not that big of a problem it's a very easy fix it may take only a few minutes of your time all you need to do is first of all click the help menu and click on install new software then you need to click add once you are in the add you need to provide the name of the repository and the location you don't have to memorize it or remember it i will provide you with this information in the description of this video so under the name you provide efx eclipse and under the location you provide the location after that you click add it gives you the options of installing you can check whatever you like can check whatever you need to install you can simply check that hit next it will go through some cal uh, some some details like calculating requirements and dependencies at the end of the process it will show you the items that it will install when you are uh, done accepting the agreement and you will be good to go to install it and then your Eclipse will restart and then we will test with an example. After that, you click Next. You accept the terms of the licensing agreement and you hit Finish. After that, the software will install and depending on the speed of your computer, you will get this Restart Now button. Once you click on that, Eclipse will restart and then we will test the JavaFX application. Now that we are back in Eclipse, I will create a new project, a new Java project. I'm choosing Java Standard Edition 10. This is a demo FX project. Hit next. In the order and export, don't forget to check the JRE system library. So that is loaded with your project and hit finish. If it asks you for creating a module info, if you're not interested, then simply click on don't create. And now let's try to create a new class. I'm creating a class called hello world. And let's test to see if it can understand Java FX. As I tried as I typed application, you can see that it understand application comes from JavaFX package. Click OK, check public static void main finish. And now let me bring in some code for testing purpose. Now I have a separate tutorial for JavaFX, which you have already gone through. If you haven't already gone through, please make sure that you visit that tutorial to learn about JavaFX. This is just one of the test codes that I will use to test to see that it works. So as you can see, it doesn't understand some of these classes, so I will organize my imports. I can click source, organize imports, or I could hit uh, the keyboard shortcut control shift O. Either way, it let me go through the JavaFX classes and all the errors are taken care of and I can hit save. And now let me test the code. This will bring up a JavaFX application. And it has a button that says, say hello world. That's the button that I created. And upon clicking the button, it will show in the console, hello world. So the JavaFX application works perfectly fine. So these are the steps that you will take. I will provide you in the description of this video with the name of the repository, the URL of the repository, and the link to the JavaFX tutorial. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Take care. Bye-bye.